Hi, honey. So this was our last morning in Kyoto before we head back to Tokyo for the rest of the trip. We spent a really nice morning just in a public park, um, hanging out, resting, reading a little bit before going back to our hotel. We took the Shinkansen back to Tokyo and it was such a beautiful drive um, or ride rather. Um, but this was our last time taking the Shinkansen and we were very sad about it. But here you can see the beautiful views that we saw that day. The weather was amazing and perfect, except we did see Mount Fuji, at least the bottom of it. I think it's coming up in one of these next clips, but we saw the bottom of Mount Fuji. The clouds, unfortunately, were covering the tip there. So next time we come to Japan, we definitely will make more time to actually see Mount Fuji, maybe go up close. I think we made it to our hotel. I'm only a little tired. <laughs> and we made it back to Tokyo. Woohoo! All right, this is gonna be a quick little room tour because it's a little room. It's a little tight in here. We've definitely been spoiled with our past two, three rooms, so gotta get humbled sometime, but let me show you. <laughs> So here's where you walk in. It's really interesting because you walk in to the bathroom. And like to the store closed. Yeah, we walked in and the door was closed. And we're like, oh, all right. Um, here are some towels. This is the commode, I believe. Yep. And then the shower is here. Nice big shower though. Sink area. Oh, that's so fun. It like mirrors in the mirror. So it's actually <laughs> looking good. That's funny. Lots of shelving and stuff though, because that's good, because mm -hmm. I have lots of toiletries. Um, and then yeah, the room is a little tight, but again, we've been very spoiled, so no worries at all. Um, got a nice little bench area here, mini fridge, kettle, coffee, the whole shebang. I'm excited to find out what this is. A nightlight, I think? And a speaker maybe, but I'm not sure. And then unfortunately, we don't have a view, just facing another wall, but you do what you can in Japan. Yeah, yeah. We're just happy to have a bed. <laughs> there he is. Hi. Ah. <laughs> bye bye. We met up with my cousin in law, Mark, again this night. Um, this was. I think his second to last night in Tokyo with his friends. So we decided to go out to Kababashi Street. And I am so sad we didn't spend more time here, honestly. This was definitely a place that we knew we wanted to come, but just timing wise, we were only able to spend a couple hours over here. Um, Jordan and Mark really wanted to get knives. So we headed to this shop. Um, I think it's a pretty famous like touristy knife shop. So you might've heard of it, but it was awesome. They had so many different types of knives. The quality was amazing. You can see there's like the engravings here but also a bunch of different damascus uh steel as well um and they were just all awesome and the shop itself was like very welcoming to people like people were able to just like take these knives and like hold them essentially so very trusting i think i don't know like i feel like in america you kind of can't do that um but anyway mark and jordan got um this knife here specifically and they got it engraved with their names on it they also got one for my brother-in-law matt who is a great chef and baker um so thought that would be a cute souvenir for him um, but i loved kapabashi street there were so many different shops not just for knives but you know different kitchen wares and things like that i really wish we spent more time here slash also had more time or more room in our luggage because i would have loved to bring home some like copper pots or something of the sort um but again just didn't have enough room or time um i thought these little frog mascots were really cute also i really loved that logo apparently but that was a huge whisk like this whole street was so cool there was this whisk there there was also a building with teacups on it that you'll see later um also with our purchase you got kind of like this lotto system i think it was part of like the tax-free thing i could be wrong don't quote me on that but essentially you got like 100 to like 500 yen back depending on what you pulled which was really fun do it again mark yeah nice <laughs> i'll take a sip of this one <laughs> Oh, 
Then we ended up in Shibuya, so you can see us here crossing the famous Shibuya crossing. Honestly, from the ground, it's not as impressive. Although, I mean, you can see everyone here, it's massive. But I think from higher up, I would have liked to see it just to kind of get the full effect of it all. But it was cool to say that we did the Shibuya crossing. Um, we went to Don Quixote, the largest one, I believe, in Tokyo, and spent like over $400, I want to say, but on souvenirs and also just like gifts and stuff, it, we went kind of buck wild. But anyway, for dinner, we went to this all you can eat Wagyu restaurant. This was recommended by Miss Remy Ashton, of course. So definitely wanted to check this out. Um, the food here was okay. I've definitely had better Japanese barbecue um, other places, which is surprising because we were in Tokyo. Um, but the best part of this restaurant were, were the drinks. Um, it was all you can drink alcohol if you wanted to do that. <laughs> I'm in a meat coma. <laughs> Sorry, a beef fat coma. So much beef fat. <laughs> Want to see something funny? Yeah. It keeps going. <laughs> Good morning! We had a fun night with Mark yesterday. We got some um, barbecue. It was decent. It was it was really good, but it was so rich and like we couldn't eat that much because it was um, like really fatty, <laughs> essentially. Like in in a midway, I'd say. But I'm glad we went and I'm glad we got to hang out with Mark. Sorry, I'm trying to button my pants. But we stayed out a little later than we usually do, so we woke up a little later than we usually do. I'm just gonna do this off camera. I'm headed to my hair appointment now, and I'm super, super excited. But also, I'm very uncertain of what I want to get because I have been styling my long hair every day on this trip, and I absolutely love it. But at home, I know I don't style it every day because I just don't have the time or the will. Um, so I think cutting it short will be the right decision. But I think I am having some cold feet right now because I've been loving how I've been doing my long hair here. Um, but I think it'll be the best choice for going back home and for long term. So come with me then to that. <laughs> Do you like my hair? I love it. <laughs> that was so fun. So I found that um, hair salon through TikTok called Assort Tokyo. They have a few locations all over the world. Um, but it was so nice in there and everyone was so kind and she really listened to what I wanted. Uh, I will say, I think this is a me problem, but my hair is just like super flat naturally. <laughs> so my hair's falling already. She gave me like a super nice blowout, but it's falling which is normal. <laughs> um, but I really like it. I think this is gonna be really cute um, for Florida and to style. I'm excited to style it the next few days. Um, but it was super fun and she was so sweet. And then um, her assistant washed my hair and blew dry my hair and he gave me a really amazing head massage during the wash and the blow dry. So that was really great. That was worth all the money. <laughs> um, <laughs> but yeah, now we are walking to Harajuku. Harajuku was just so cute and fun. I definitely could have spent more time here as well. Just literally everywhere in Japan, I could have doubled my time, if not more. But anyway, we found this really cute cafe called Reissue. I actually think they're really famous on TikTok, I want to say, but we just stumbled upon them and then I did more research afterwards and found that they are pretty famous. But they are famous, rightfully so, because they make these super cute lattes here with the amazing foam on top. It's sinking. So cute. Here's the Instagram of the person that made our drinks. So cute. They're able to make latte art out of really anything. You can give them a photo of like your pet and they can replicate it um, to the T essentially. Um, but we just got that cute bear and cat. We thought it would be cute for Spud and Sesame, our cats, <laughs> um, because we always call Sesame a bear cub. This is so cute. I love this. This jacket will haunt my dreams 
I want it so bad, but it's pretty expensive. It's actually not expensive with the conversion, but I don't need it. I live in Florida, but it's so beautiful. It's like the carpet jacket. Couch. Couch. Grandma's yes. couch. Grandma couch. Rip up grandma's couch. It's so beautiful. <laughs> I want this. Which color? Green. We're in a Selka studio, a selfie photo booth studio. And we're about to have a great time. Oh, look at this stuffy. Lemon room. So here's the machine. And I think we just pay. I'm in the lemon room. Awesome. Okay, just took some pictures. Here they are. You get to choose the frame. Let me choose in the frame. Do you like the clouds or do you like this pink one? Uh, I think I like the clouds. Okay. Oh, here, look, special frame. Oh, oh wait, that's, that's cute. cute. Oh my god, I'll get rid of that one. I'll get rid of this one. Yeah. What does that do? Oh, like mirrors it? That's. That's... Okay, I'm happy with it. Okay, they're so cute. This is fun. <laughs> and it was only 500 yen. Nice. It might too be too big for my phone. Yeah. It was nice. Ooh. What was nice is that we took like a total of 15 photos, I think. Or nine photos? Maybe? Nine or ten, yeah. And you got to choose which ones you actually liked. So that was nice. So cute. Look at our pizzas. They look awesome. Jordan got just one big sausage on his. I got pancetta and mushroom. And this is called the abondante size. So instead of just one slice, you get a slice and a half. Didn't need it. Didn't, absolutely did not need it. Also, I'm starving. This is my first meal of the day and I'm so excited. I'm elated. Elated for this. Jordan. And this was a Caesar salad. It's orange because they put like a parboiled egg in it. It was really good. Found another Kashapon store. <laughs> Woman ring. Aww. I'm freaking obsessed with this cat. It's so cute. We got this one. This one. That was fun. Ooh, that is crowded. I almost succumbed and bought a lot of bows in a store just now, but I don't need them. Yeah, we bought other stuff instead. But I want the bows. <laughs> it's fine. So a little change from what we have been doing. We really got sucked into Harajuku like big time. Yeah, lots of stores, lots of things to buy. We bought more things. <laughs> but now we're going to the Meiji Jujus Shrine. I'm waiting to come here. So. It's a big pilgrimage all the way there if you can yeah. see all these people. Yeah, but, there's a uh, lot of people. Should be pretty cool. Okay, we are at Meiji Jingyu. I don't know if I'm saying that right. Um, in, I think it ends in an ooh. I don't know. But we were looking for the stamps and we found it here. You do it yourself. You do it yourself. We will still give some offering in the box. But yeah. Hot dog. Nice. Here, I'm gonna write today's date is October 8th. That's correct. I thought it was maybe. How do you spell it? Jinju? I think that's a G at the end. Oh. We'll fix it in post. We'll, we'll figure it out. I'm so sorry to all the shrines. 
that we get the name wrong. I apologize. I love stamping it myself. They need new ink. Okay, I'm gonna do one more. One more. I like the stamp. It is hefty. Beautiful. That's the best one yet. Just prayed for marriage. For our marriage. Oh, ours? Um, I'm just kidding. You prayed for marriage? Just in general? Just in general. That's funny. <laughs> well, I played, prayed for ours. So. No, I'm just kidding. I did that too. All right. All right. had a nice rest in the hotel room after our long day out in Harajuku and now we are hitting the town we're gonna go to Uniqlo to get some stuff some gifts um, and then go do some other errands and probably get dinner with Mark and maybe his friends again because they all leave Japan tomorrow but I wanted to show off my new Krunik sweater we got this in a thrift store in Harajuku <coughs> super super cute um, I got the white and black one. And, and Jordan got the black and white one. Yeah, so cute. So we match, but we match as opposites. Don't you love it? And it says florist right here, and it's all embroidered, which is why we got it. It's, it's like bride and groom. <laughs> Ooh, it's raining. You can see the rain in the... Is that the Cartier building? Ooh. It's an old car. That's where we're headed. The 12 story Uniqlo building. Oh, it smells so good. Yeah, it's, it's pretty good. Video. Smile. Wait, smile. And then you guys are saying, hey. And we are back for the night. Sorry that we haven't really been filming that much. Honestly, there we've just been like doing a bunch. We're very tired as well. Um, and we've just been kind of, you know, living in the moment a bit. Um there's just so much to do and there's like so many people always around and stuff that you like forget to pull out the camera wow i'm having a hard time <laughs> um but anyway we just got home. we just got home from dinner with mark and his friends and said goodbye to them i'm so sad it was like really nice to just like see friends um see mark at least and his friends his friends are super nice and really cool they're fun to talk to um but we won't see mark again until like next year which is really sad. Yeah, it was very nice to see him, spend time with him, meet some of his friends. Oh, shit. <laughs> and we had some really good meals together. Yeah, um, the eel that we just had was delicious. Yeah, it was so good. I think we, did we take a video of it? Yeah, I did. Okay, good. Um, I always remember to take a video of food at least. Yeah, but yeah, it, I feel like so far, what we have kind of been doing in Tokyo is just going around to all the different shopping districts and shopping. Yeah, Tokyo is um, a lot of shopping. Yeah, at least at least for so us. So crowded. I'm sure there are a lot of things, a lot of other things to do, mm -hmm. but just kind of the things that stuck out to us um, to do on like your first time are all these shopping districts, and we just get enticed and we buy stuff. Um, but we did go to, um, uh, you know, at least one shrine today, Meiji Jingyu. Yeah, it was beautiful. Um, so many people though. Yeah. Um, and it's just busy and then, you know, we shop some more and it's tough because we have Christmas coming up and a wedding coming up. So we're kind of, you know, getting a lot of gifts for people. And so we just end up shopping a lot. 
Um, one of the last things of shopping we did was we went um, to this weird like hole in the wall luggage shop called Ginza Karen. You might and, have seen it on the interwebs. And uh, it was just recommended from TikTok and we bought some you know pretty cheap uh, check bags because we are we're gonna we're uh, overflowing already. Yeah, we're bringing so many souvenirs and just other odds and ends back and with us. And we're going to Tokyo Disney next and we're gonna oh be overflowing gosh. even more. Yeah we're gonna be buying so much stuff. Uh, um, speaking of that I realize we haven't really been showing what we've been buying every day. Oh, and yeah. trust that we have been buying a lot every day and I can't remember if I said this or not but um, we haven't been showing because a lot of what we've been buying recently especially in Tokyo we've been buying tax-free oh yeah which is really nice so like we get one it's already discounted because of the exchange rate but then we just get tax-free because we're um, like not consuming it in Japan mm -hmm. so when they do that they wrap it up really really nicely because they try to trust you that you're not actually consuming it while you're in Japan so we haven't really opened anything yeah um, so I think we'll do like a major, a huge haul, like when we get back home and unpack everything. Um, Cause it is going to be huge. We bought yeah. so much stuff. We spent $400 at Don Quixote yesterday. So Oof. what can you do? Um, so yeah, yeah, we just have a lot of stuff and we have to do one more hotel change and then one flight back to the US and then another flight back to Florida. Um, so yeah the trip went so fast but it's not over yet it's not over yet yeah. but we, we have one more full day in tokyo mm -hmm. and then the next three days we're doing disney and i feel like the trip just flew by but um at least for right now i love seeing all these different cities um you know like we kind of planned it out to do some osaka some kyoto some tokyo um but i think it does kind of make it fly by because you're only doing kind of like a long weekend yeah it's all city. it's felt like a weekend trip every city that we've been to yeah and so i think it would be nice um if we stuck in one place for a longer period of time mm -hmm. um but you know always things to do next trip um i just love vacation yeah it, vacation is really nice um but we're having a good time we still have like um i mean it's it's sunday so we still have a, a another full week of vacation um and uh, a few more days here in Japan, and we're looking forward to it. I love Japan. <laughs> See you next one. See ya. Bye. Alrighty, we are finally getting our day started. It's around like 10 a.m. We took it very easy this morning, or at least I did. I slept in, but Jordan was so good, and he did a bunch of laundry. And he's getting everything ready because we're going to give our bags again to the luggage transport so they can bring it to our um, Disney hotel um, so that we can have it for tomorrow because tomorrow we're going to Disney. Woo! Woo! So today's our last full day in Tokyo. We're just going to take it easy. We're going to head to lunch here pretty soon because there's one last udon place we really want to try. Jordan found some music stores that he really wants to go to. Um, and then yeah, we're just gonna, oh, we're gonna go to Aka, Akihabara today, mm -hmm. finally. We've been like tr trying to do that since day one. Um, but there's really not too much we want over there. We just really want to see it because it's such like a, like, cultural area of Tokyo with all like the anime and everything like that. So I think that'll be really fun. Probably we'll do some gash ponds for sure. But yeah, come with us on our last day in Tokyo. <laughs> Look at all this laundry that Jordan did. It's like this because the dryer isn't very strong. So we're yeah. <laughs> we're drying everything. Or at least Jordan's drying everything. But Jordan's such a good boy. He did all this laundry. Thank you, Jordan. You're it's raining. And we're queuing. Yeah, we're in a queue. That's pretty long. Um, that restaurant opens soon. So hopefully it'll get moving once it opens. Jordy's such a good eater. He's always clean plate club. I'm having trouble. This is a lot of food, but it's so good. And we waited so long. 
do what the bear says. The bear says, eat. <laughs> Wait, does he really? No. Oh. <laughs> also, I think this is a raccoon. This is Tom Nook. Really? Yeah. I think. I don't know. Wow. We're spitting a lot of lies in these vlogs. Don't take anything we say for truth. <laughs> yeah. Who knows the real answer? Yeah. Comment down below. <laughs> It's so cheap. We're savoring our last vending machines because we only have a few days left. But I don't know if there's any that I want here. I love this apple drink. I love it. It tastes like someone squeezed an apple into a bottle. It's so good. Yeah, that sounds kind of good. But we're going here because Jordan found a saxophone shop. So we're just going to see what it's all about. Maybe Jordan will buy a saxophone. Who knows? sounds like that's the cat from Cinderella there's Wheezy Akihabara. Akihabara. <laughs> and found ourselves a gashapon store. <laughs> Snoopy water, Snoopy water, he's playing sports. He's playing tennis and he's on a skateboard. Snoopy water, Snoopy water. <laughs> 